Okay, we're just going to open up the uh, file required to do the um, the external rendering of this uh, hospital site or building, and we need that uh, Autodesk Hospital Rendering NWF. Just make sure you are in the NWF uh, files of files of type, and let's go open. Now, I'll wait for it to come up. It takes a little while to load in. Notice I've got my little rendering uh, dialog box up here from the previous uh, exercise we're doing, which was the internal cafe. And um, that basically, um, yeah, that, that basically was just turned on from before. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was, uh, oh, I can't, oh, it's coming up. Just wait for that to load. question okay where was it she was under the home tab thing is this is thing has been compressed now and I got so I can see everything here um, oh here it is but see that there that button there it's basically on the home tab uh, you will need that in a minute, but that would have been up from the previous exercises for you. So you won't tell us how to turn it on for this exercise, but if you're just doing this exercise, just make sure you, um, uh, it's next to this quantification thing, There's um, there should be something that says Autodesk Rendering, or Control F4, if you want to just use the keyboard, it says there. And it brings this up. We're going to need that in a minute. Unfortunately, the screen is even smaller than it. I had problems with it being wider yesterday. Now, um, with this being smaller, is a problem. So, anyhow, let's see if we can uh, get this organized. Basically, on page 375, uh, it says that um, go to the viewpoint, which is here, uh, called um, outside, I suppose. Uh, what's it called? Outside. Makes sense. And that's the view we need to. Um, I wonder if I can somehow load it into the side there. I don't know if that's going to help me or not. It's pinned, maybe unpin it. Alright, it disappears at least for now. If we go there, it comes back. Alright, should be right. <laughs> Alright, so um, the, th the first thing it says, and if we go to the uh, selection tree, there's a, a file that we need to bring in here, which is basically called um, Autodesk Hospital Site.nwc. We're going to append that in, all right? All right, just to let me just that one more time. Go down here, click append. All right, so we, it's looking for NWFs, so we're going to change this to NWC, all right? Let's right, cache file, and we're looking for the site, and we're going to open that up. Look at that, I didn't set my clock to go. Okay, we'll fix it up now. All right, so uh, on the Autodesk rendering window, okay, in the rendering toolbar, click location. So the Autodesk rendering window is this, and uh, the toolbar is up here. All right, it will click on this thing here, location. All right, this thing here pops up, and it says. In the geographic location dialog box, set the time zone to minus five. This is um, uh, Eastern Time, US and Canada. So we'll, we'll stick with that. Um, this is there, minus five Eastern, US and Canada. And then um, I think that's about it we're doing there. Um, everything else is all good. And that's it. North direction, zero degrees, okay, done. Right, step four, on the other disk rendering window in the rendering toolbar, ensure that the sun, now this is the, the main thing that I'm going through with this as well is because uh, the terminology that they're using is to where the buttons are because it's a problem we had with the animator uh, when I first, uh, sorry, the timeliner, I think, one of those. Um, they have this different terminology and you're getting a bit lost with it. So, uh, here, ensure that the sun option is enabled so that the sun is turned on for the scene. All right, so that is already on. That's off, a bit dark, on, 
Beautiful. All right. Okay, so that's that. And on the Autodesk rendering window, select the Environment tab. Again, if I just um, go here, Environment, here we are in the Environment. So it's just uh, all these different tabs up here. We're in the Environment now anyway. Um, all right, in the, um, make the following changes to the Sun properties. All right, the Sun properties. Uh, we're going to have um, ooh, intensity factor will be 4. So this is this thing here. So we're putting 4 there. Enter the current date and time. All right, so that will be here. All right, let's just make it 2014. It's the, um, you know, obviously it's uh, spring in Canada at this point in time. All right, and um, the time is fine at 10 a.m. is it? Or let's make it about 2 p.m. All right, that'll do. All right, so that's that. Um, yeah, good enough. That's all we've got to change there. And then um, on the environment tab, make the following changes to the sky properties. So in the environment tab, the sky properties down here. So let's just scroll down. All right, all right, we're at 0.9 for the haze factor. Uh, oh, where are we? Uh, here, 0.9. So that's a haze factor. Uh, lower the horizon during uh, using the slider. All right, so let's uh, go back a bit, maybe, possibly. Uh, horizon, if I just move this around, you might see this happening. Oh. That's the horizon up there. Uh, I'm not sure where it was before, but anyway. Um, we we'll lower it a little bit, I don't know. That's how you play with it. All right, uh, that's the horizon. Increase the blur using the slider. It's called blurry. Okay, here you go. All right, change the ground color to a green. Also a green we want, just a dark green, he says. I don't know, is that dark enough? I'll make it a bit lighter, maybe that one. Okay, that's green to me. All right, so that's done. Uh, on the environment tab, make the following changes to the exposure properties. Enter four for exposure. So if you know what all this stuff means, then you'll get a nice rendering. All right, step number eight of 10. So we're getting there. Select the render tab. All right. On the render panel, click render. All right. So we can just I can go on the render. All right. We'll click render. Start rendering. But a sample of the final rendering. Uh, we've got a copy of that. We'll show you that in a minute. And then when the scene is rendered, click the save button. So the save button is basically this one here. All right. So. Um, it's going to take a little while for it to render this thing, so I'll just make it low quality and we might even have to stop it if we run out of time, but um, once you click your quality, uh, then you just click that, a little teapot, and, and it starts processing the rendering. All right, so it's f well, that, that's happening, as I said, we have over here, the outside. So uh, in theory, it should look something like that when it's finished. This is what I prepared a bit earlier. All right. So I'll close that for a minute. See how this thing is going over here. All right. And once it's, um, it hasn't even started doing anything, I don't think. Yeah, it starts processing, which I can't see the percentage. Oh, no, it's doing it now, there you go. Now it's actually pre uh, processing. It's done six, eight percent. You probably do it quite quickly, but it won't be as good as the rendering I showed you before because that was probably a high quality one they've done. But the point is here, you can close this if you, you know, already looking at it and thinking, oh, I stuffed up something, uh, the sun or the angle or something. You can stop it and before it goes any further and just uh, change some uh, some values around. Once it's done it, you can just press this button here and we export it out as a, an image file for you. Right. 
it's right through to 50% at this point. So I will um, see if we've got time yet. We should have some time. I'll let it just finish just for the moment, uh, just to um, see what happens. And, um, and I'll show you how to export it out as well and, and, and then save the recording. All right, it's going quite fast because it's uh, only on the, um, you know, like a, a, a draft sort of render, low quality. All right, 93%, doing well. Check it out, it's looking good. Does it look like the one in the image before? I don't know. Let me just turn the lights off. <laughs> Sorry. Um, 100%. Beautiful. Anyway, it's sort of right. So one, one, uh, once that's done, you've got to save, and then you can place it somewhere. You know, give it, give it a name. Sort of, you know, call it. For example, this one is uh, uh, low quality. Yes. Yeah, so we've got a, an option with that, and. Um, Basically, if I go over here, here's my low quality. That's what it looks like. Oh, that's what it looks like. It's not bad. I mean, pretty good. Well, there's that. And um, then if we compare it with this one, oh, that's a bit brighter, you know? <laughs> okay, that one's better. <laughs> All right. I'll stop this recording for now.